On the road to being self-sufficient, you have to consider generating your own power. You got gas and diesel generators. But what I want to talk to you about is solar generators. A solar generator is basically four items. A solar panel, charge controller, the battery, and an inverter. The solar panels produce the power. Batteries store the power. Charge controllers make sure the power is flowing properly into the batteries and the inverter converts the power to 120 volts so you can use most electrical gadgets. So in general, the solar panels produce the power and you will run your device off the power stored in the battery. Here are the advantages. It's clean energy, it's quiet, it's portable. You can add more solar panels and batteries at any time to increase your power. The disadvantage is the battery. You still have to buy batteries every five years or so as they charge down from use. So what can you use a solar generator for? Pretty much any and everything, the same as regular generators. As long as the power is stored in the battery or the solar panel produces enough power, then you'll be able to run your device. I use my generator for heating, cooling, camping, running my aquaponics to weed eating. You can buy all the components on your own or buy them all together. Now, to give you an idea of a decent sized solar generator, I'll tell you what I've, what I've had success with. I have a 45 watt solar panel that I bought from Harbor Freight for about 200 bucks, and this included my charge controller. Then I bought a 1000 watt inverter that I bought for about 80 bucks. And lastly, I bought a 35 amp hour battery, and that was about 80 bucks too. So this gives me more than enough power to do just about anything needed around the house or, for, or with a couple days of camping, etc. You can always add to your system if you want more as well. Hope that helps, clears up some misconceptions about solar generators. Leave me any comments or questions and please like our channel and subscribe to us.